Our next guest has been on the show before, but so many exciting things have happened in the past few months that we wanted to have him back. From his award-winning live stream, Stuck on the Couch, I'm happy to welcome Carl Stuck to the show. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Hi, it's good to be back. Yes. Okay, Carl. So when the pandemic hit, you started doing your live stream and you are now nearing your way to your 250th episode. When this all started, did you imagine that this many months later, this would still be going on? Did you, you know, know going into it? When this started, I thought I'll do like a week or two weeks worth of these live streams. And uh, I thought that would be it. Uh, so yeah, this 250 was never anywhere on my radar. And now it's kind of like you're in it. I mean, you have so many fans and stuff. I'm like, you can't let your fans down. This is like part of like what keeps them going, I think, really. It, it really has turned into kind of a little community, uh, a little family, really. Um, I've got, there's a core group of people who show up every night. They call themselves the, the spuds or the couch potatoes. Um, and really, I, I've continued to do it a lot for, for that reason, uh, more than almost any other reason. Honestly, I started doing it to try and make money. You know, I thought because I lost all my work, uh, so I put a little tip jar out. Uh, but then it sort of developed into this whole other thing. Like takes a life of, of its own, like bringing joy to people's lives, which that is amazing. It's crazy. And now, I mentioned in the beginning that your live stream is award winning. You actually won two Leo awards. Is this right? I did, apparently. <laughs> what was your response when you saw that? Uh, well, you know, funny enough, I just happened, uh, somebody uh, made a post on Facebook congratulating me for my Leo Awards. And my first thought was that they were being facetious and making fun of me. <laughs> you know, like, because I've never won a Leo Award, and, and so that's what I thought. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe they're not making fun, because it's not like a super close friend. Uh, so I looked it up, and sure enough, I won two Leo Awards, and uh, it was a very big surprise to me. That is incredible. I know one was for best live stream. What was the other one? Oh, gosh. Um, Coolest dude on the planet, probably. One, right? one, it, it was, one was uh, best live stream event. And the other one was um, best live stream series, maybe. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a totally crazy thing, too, of like, what a crazy turn of events. And here right. you are, like, from your own house, winning awards. Yeah. You know? Did not expect that. That's pretty good. And something else really cool that you recently did is you recorded a live album on your live stream and you also released a new single. Is that right? I did. So uh, the single was already in the works uh, prior to the, the whole pandemic. Um, so I was putting the final touches on it. It just took longer because of the pandemic. Um, but then also a lot of people had been asking me for, you know, when are you going to release a live album? Because I've got a bunch of songs. Um, and so I thought, rather than making them wait until the fully produced version is ready, I thought, why don't I just record a live album from the live stream? So I took the live stream off the couch and into a studio, and I invited, there were probably six or seven people that came that I invited to come be a part of it. Uh, and we recorded, the, as I did the live stream, we recorded a live album. So, um, and you can get that on, you can pre-order it now on the website, so... That is amazing. Okay, and so your new single is called Best Revenge, and your fans call it the Na 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 song. Is this right? That's correct. So tell me, what what is the inspiration behind this song? Uh, this song is sort of about um, when you get out of a bad relationship, uh, and a lot of times you want to hold on to that negativity. Um, I think uh, the best revenge is often just to be happy, to be to find your own happy place. And so that's what the song is sort of about. I like that. Uh, that is the best revenge, but only if you can genuinely feel that. And it's not like I'm going to pretend to be happy. You know, that's, yeah. a whole, that's a whole different thing. And if people want to check out your new song, where can they do that? It's everywhere. It's a, if uh, it's on all the streaming services, you can buy it on iTunes or Amazon Music or whatever. So it's everywhere. Awesome. And if people want to tune in tonight and every night to check out your live stream, where can they go to do that? Uh, that would be, let's see, it's on my music Facebook page, which is facebook.com. Let me look to make sure I get it right. Facebook.com slash Carl Anthony Stuck. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Well, Carl, thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It's a, it's a joy to be back. Absolutely. And now here's Carl Stuck performing his brand new single, Best Revenge. <laughs> Days dreaming up ways that I could rectify your slight. And when I go to bed inside my head, those daydreams. 
dreams kill me up all night. But I won't get your sin under my skin, cause I've got better things to do. Seems to be. 